Hi folks, this is Clayton from the Adventure Cowboy Channel here on YouTube. And today, I'm bringing you a brand new rifle. This is Cimarron Model 71 Bore Buster, or as they affectionately know it, Hogzilla Killa. Now you're gonna notice a lot of things about this gun right away. One, lever action. Two, it's a beefy lever action. And three, you're gonna notice a Picatinny rail on top. Those are probably the first three things that are going to catch your eye, followed by this rubber butt pad. This is a reproduction of a Model 71. The Model 71s were made from the 30s to the 50s originally. They were the only rifle ever chambered for the 348 Winchester. And Cimarron has brought that back. Um, but they've brought the rifle back in a 4570 caliber because of the availability of ammunition. You can get 4570 anywhere. Some of you are probably already wondering why is there a Picatinny rail on a Model 71 reproduction lever gun? This is Cimarron's most modern rifle to date, but it is purpose built for hunting in brush and close quarters. I'm talking 100 yards and closer. Um, you put a long eye relief scope on this, you're going to be able to extend your range by quite a ways. But with the current sight set up, you're really probably not going to get much more than 100 yards out of it. And you could probably do some modifications and, and extend that a long ways. But the way it comes from the factory, you're looking 100 yards and under with the open sights. If you mount a scope on the Picatinny rail, which it's designed for, you can extend that range. Your 4570 cartridge is going to be good on to elk out to a few hundred yards very easily so my favorite things about this rifle probably number one on the list it is fast and when I say fast I mean from field carry to shoulder to target acquisition the sucker is fast due to the short barrel length that's a 19 inch barrel shotgun style butt plate and the way they have the sights set up on this it is incredibly fast to just snap up and fire. Some of you will have already noticed that this looks an awful lot like an 1886 action. And you are correct. John Browning designed this action for the 1886 rifle. Now, um, Winchester in the 30s took this action and they modified a rifle and came up with a Model 71. The Model 71 was purpose built for hunting. Um, it had a shotgun style butt plate on it and the full length rifles have a shorter magazine tube. But essentially it's an 1886 action. Very, very strong action. And we're gonna show you how it shoots today. The spring in the magazine tube is brand new and really strong. Okay, so those are my first three shots out of this rifle at 50 yards. And I'm just uh, standing up, leaning over the bed of my truck as a rest. So this is not from a bench. It is probably as close as you could be to like a field rest. Um, like if you're in the trees and stuff. But those are the first three shots out of the Cimarron Model 71 Bore Buster. Shooting Hornady Lever Evolution 325 grain flex tips.
All right, folks, so I, I hope you can see the capability of this gun. That is at 50 yards, and that is the highest these sights, the stock sights, open sights, will go. Um, obviously, you can put a scope on here, but I literally just shot off the bed of my truck. So that kind of accuracy out of a 19-inch barreled gun and 4570, so it's got some recoil, that is some good accuracy. Well, folks, you can obviously see that this is an accurate little rifle. And little, I shouldn't say. This thing is beefy. It is a beast. But it is short. It is handy. Very practical. Got one more thing I want to do before I call it quits for the night. Did I say it was fast? Something else I want to point out on this rifle is the sling swivel mounts. These are beefy. There's nothing more irritating than when your sling stud starts spinning around because the screw is stripped out the stock. That will not happen with this rifle. So here you've got two screws and a heavy duty mount. And then on the fore end, it's built right into the end cap.
not gonna go down. She's going down. She's going down. Film? Yeah, I'm filming. Down. Well, folks, Clayton Markser, the Adventure Cowboy here. I got her done with Cimarron's Model 71 Hogzilla Killer. But today it killed a big cow elk in the backcountry of Montana.